Yo, here we are in Edinburgh. Here to go see uh, R33 GTR. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, basically, I uh, I took a trip on a whim to go see a car in Edinburgh that uh, a friend of mine found on Facebook. I don't have Facebook. So here I am exploring this crazy little town. Uh, here's when I first saw the car. Uh, pretty wild, um, in really horrible condition. It was running fairly well, um, but not everything else was, was up to snub, that's for damn sure. Uh, it's missing a ton of parts. It was covered in uh, dirt and corrosion and rust and just a total mess. Uh, interior was totally, <laughs> look at this shit, totally shot. <laughs> eBay racing seats, missing parts from the outside. Just just all, all kinds of madness. Total fucking madness, really, when I saw this car. Um, ended up really going through it pretty heavily and seeing all the parts that were missing and I, I left this this trip and I didn't make a purchase. I went home on purpose to uh, to create a list of everything that was missing on the damn car and try to uh, uh, see how much it would cost. Here in the trunk there was there was a lot of surface rust in this uh, the passenger side uh, corner. Um, I've kind of done some research on it and seen that the rust is from uh, uh, probably the uh, rear window seal actually leaking and uh, seeping through. Um, not sure what I'm saying here. Probably some dumb shit about how the car wasn't that bad. Trust me, it really was bad. Um, it was fucking horrible. And I'm in a snowstorm some seven or eight miles away from uh, where I'm supposed to be. I uh, decided to take the train into the city. I thought that was cool. Um, it was, uh, it was now it started raining and uh, continued to absolutely pour. Uh, but as soon as I got in, I uh, made sure I would go find me some beer and some chips. And that's, that's exactly what I got. It's pretty damn good. I'll give them that. I had a good time. Uh, and then I started exploring the city because I had a couple hours. And Edinburgh was beautiful. Uh, everything else uh, for my trip for Scotland sucked, but um, the city was awesome. It wasn't really much going on, but it, it was uh, it was pretty fucking awesome. Um, yeah, just strolling around here. So this guy was selling this car. Hold on, fresh check. A went to go see the castle. Uh, I didn't know there was a castle in Edinburgh until I got there. Pretty cool, fucking majestic as fuck. Awesome. And um, yep, that's that. As you probably noticed, this is my first YouTube video. Uh, I wanted to document the whole process on the GTR. I really thought it'd be useful because um, there's there's not a lot of uh, resource on on R33s right now, and for English speakers, um, there's going to be a resurgence in purchasing them, and and tons of problems people are going to find, and and questions they're going to have. So I, I thought it'd be good to document this on YouTube. You know, I've I've had a 180SX before, I had an NSX after that. I, I've been been around the block when it comes to Japanese cars, but the Skyline was always one that I always wanted to get, and um, now. Uh, living in England, I have access to quite a few of them, and I thought it'd be a good time to grab them before the prices go through the roof, and then I could never afford it. So for future videos, I'm probably going to be splitting them up into small little groups, uh, maybe do a suspension upgrade, um, do engine maintenance, uh, do the full interior swap. I have all these parts. I've been piling up parts for the past couple of weeks now, and uh, I'm finally ready to start throwing everything at the car. And getting this into you know a, a good worthy condition one that everyone will be proud of so if you're into that you want to see some cool r33 stuff you want to see me import a car to the US um, stick around I think it's gonna be a fun journey peace